what is the Biennale to me? Um, well, it's a moment of uh, um, Venice wants to show herself to the world, even if she doesn't need it, because uh, Venice is already well known and loved by everybody. Personally, I'm not really a great fan of a contemporary art because you just look at my hair, you know. <laughs> so I prefer something a little bit older. But um, I think it's very interesting for younger people and uh, for everybody who likes uh, contemporary art, that's it. Do I have a favorite pavilion? The Venetian one. Venice. <laughs> international public from all over the world and then I learn also what is uh, art in new way and what uh, other people to show. It is a great things Biennale for me. The Biennale is something that I want to see expected and unexpected things. We surprise somehow and uh, Maybe, you know, to hunt some tips for what's for the future. We are in Giardini and I like the French pavilion and the Danish pavilion. And I'm a communication strategist and Biennale is uh, like, you know, updating myself globally and having, you know, thousands of inspirations, people around, art around. I like being there. The Biennale, it was really great this year, I have to say. My favorite was, I have two uh, at least. One is the Egyptian pavilion and the other one is the Japanese pavilion. Oh, it's uh, a melting pot, it's a wonderful meeting point for friends and artists and you can make uh, experience, experiments um, and to see the Romanian pavilion for example, to see a 90 year old woman which I never heard in my life about her and then to see this wonderful art, I think she should be the winner. Not the German, I'm the German, but I'm not, it's not my favorite pavilion, it's the Romanian one. Um, I'm not too thrilled by uh, the curator's statement. The Biennale, there are good works, but I don't really, I was not so uh, enhanced by the message that is underneath the curatorial project. I found very inspired by the Greek pavilion, with this metaphor, metaphor about cells uh, uh, and uh, the society, so biology and politics. Uh, I think it was an interesting biopolitical uh, statement. For me, the Biennale, it's a cavalcade of uh, dresses like, uh, well, I don't even know, peacocks. Otherwise, it's uh, also a very elitist art show, but I think it has validity although it has to be approached uh, tactfully, I think, as a viewer, if you know what I mean. Uh, Canada, this year, it was very touching because it's really personal. You have to read the text, though. It's beautiful, it's a massive installation, it's very effective, it has a great impact, and it has a very nice message, and it's, you know, touching. I'm a first time here, and for me it's really something beautiful, unusual, and... Uh, I I, I like it, but we are more here, um, let's say we supplied some projectors for one of installations to the Russian, to the, with the Pushkinsky Museum, and uh, we are together like Auvix and Barko, so we did it uh, for the special Russian artist. Um, maybe a Russian? <laughs> oh, it's the most important um, rendezvous of art in, in the world. Um, I prefer all together. It's uh, what is, is important to see all pavilion. I'm not like this or, or this one. I prefer the ensemble. Yes, I, I like this Biennale more than the Biennale before. I like the Russian pavilion, the Switzerland, the Swiss, the Land pavilion. And I like also the uh, England pavilion. Yes, uh, by far the Rus Russian one is a really understanding uh, of what is happening uh, also in the long term of the digital intelligence and that kind of thing. 
by by far. Yeah, I think so. The other one, uh, I think, is uh, New Zealand at Arsenale. That also is a fantastic pavilion. Italy is a very good pavilion. Not here. At the Arsenal is very good. Uh, it's very interesting state-sponsored experimental art which tries to show a new way of being now. Does that make sense? It's art. It's international art and it's about um, each state trying to show it has a culture that thrives. And it, it celebrates difference. So you can have cultural difference without war. First of all, because we are Austrian, so the Austrian pavilion is very nice this year. There are two, it's a man and a woman this year, so I think it's good because a lot of years always it have been men and now it's a, it's a woman also, <laughs> yes.